Hello everyone, in this video I want to explain what DynamoDB consistency models and how they work. DynamoDB has two um, consistency models, eventually and strongly consistent. The eventually one means that when you read the data from DynamoDB, the data might not be might not reflect the latest write operation. So you, the response can contain basically stale data. Once you repeat the read within a few seconds, sometimes even milliseconds, you will get the most up-to-date data. So the idea is that eventually consistency model doesn't guarantee that you're reading the uh, up-to-date data from the MongoDB table. Strong consistency, um, on the other hand, ensure you that you have on the response the most up-to-date data. And to do that, you need to add the attribute consistent, consistent read equals true on your query. Keep in mind that if you're using GSIs, um, GSIs doesn't support um, strongly consistent models, and we're going to see why in the next slides. But um, also keep in mind that when you use strongly consistency model, you will consume double of the RSU of the read capacity uh, unit for that uh, query. So the question might be why uh, Dynamo has two different um, consistency models and how are they implemented and what is the advantages of both of them. So let's see that in the next slide. So this is how the DynamoDB write operation works. So every time there's a put item on the DynamoDB table, the API request will hit the request router of DynamoDB and the request router will then uh, compute the hash function based on the partition key value of the item. In this case, for example, like customer hashtag and the email or the username. And based on the value of the hash function, the request router will save the item on the um, allocated partition. In this case, I put it like partition 2. So this item will go into partition 2, right? Now, we do know that the uh, partitions on DynamoDB are actually replicated across the region and the default replication is 3. Each of the partitions is replicated 3 times, so it's going to have the primary node and 2 secondary node. The final uh, architecture would be something like this one. So we have partition 2 and 2 secondary nodes for each of the partitions, as you can see here. 2 for partition 2, 2 for partition 1 and 2 for partition 3. So as we go back to the put item operation, what's going to happen is that put item um, request router is going to um, redirect the write item to the partition 2, then partition 2 before sending back this successful code like 200ok to the request router needs to replicate the write item, the write operation on uh, his first secondary node, which is going to be this one. This is to ensure that in case of a failure of partition 2, we have the write operation saved into another node. So it's to ensure basically uh, that the write operation is fault tolerant. Once the item has been copied into partition 2 um, secondary node, the request router is going to send back the 200 OK um, response to the client. So now that the uh, partition 2 node sent back the 200 OK response to the request router to the client, what it's going to do is going to copy the same write operation in, uh, asynchronously into partition 2 secondary P node. So it's going to be uh, the same item again copied asynchronously into partition 2 secondary B node. This is to ensure again uh, full tolerance uh, on the partitions. Okay, great. Now that, now that we have in mind the um, architecture of DynamoDB and the part different partitions, we can understand better the uh, consistency model that I explained before. So why eventually consistent and strongly consistent models exist. If we go back here on the architecture and how the partitions are um, developed inside DynamoDB, we can understand the, the functions. So the idea here is to have all the writes um, that goes towards the same partition, so into partition 2 in this case, and have the reads that can go uh, into different partitions to kind of distribute the load of all the reads in DynamoDB. So the read operation can be done within the two read replicas as well, so the secondary A 
and secondary B partitions or partition two to again distribute the workload whereas the write operation will only go to partition two and then gonna be replicated into the second nodes. Um, with this operation you can understand that since the data is replicated asynchronously you can sometimes read from the secondary nodes stale data so no up-to-date data that's why eventually consistency model uh, is developed inside DynamoDB this architecture design and the partitions um, architecture of having like two read replica for each of the partition ensures both fault tolerance and a better distribution of the workload for both read and writes um, so I hope this video was useful for you to understand how DynamoDB works under the hood and how the partitions models and consistency models are implemented in within AWS and DynamoDB and if you have uh, any other questions just feel free to add on the comments thanks for watching guys and see you on the next video